What's going on guys? It is Terrence from Two Fresh Fishing and welcome to another episode of Two Fresh Custom Bait Making on YouTube. Uh, thanks for joining me today and what we are going to be working on today is going to be a customer walkthrough for making a custom color which I call Carolina Crawler. And basically what it is, it's a Carolina pumpkin and a night crawler which basically gives you the ability to make a, uh, I would say a finesse style jig or finesse style bait that really, to me from just childhood experience, is similar to the night crawlers that I would see when I was growing up in Rochester, New York. Uh, we would go out and we would use uh, dish detergent, pour it on the ground, and all of a sudden you would have these worms that would come up that we would take down to the river and utilize for catfish uh, fishing. And they had this, shimmer to it a uh like a purplish uh brownish purplish shimmer to them and it was pretty cool and the fish really 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 liked them so today what we're going to do is we're going to walk through making an order i have a big order for this so we're not going to make a very drawn out video doing it i'm basically going to show you the preparation of uh, coloring or adding the colorant to the plastic as well as the uh, glitter we're going to use 0 0.30 or 0 0.35 just depending on which one not a big difference but we're going to use either the 0.30 or the 0 0.35 black uh, flake in it and I'm basically going to go through the process of making that so we'll make a few uh, batches of that and yep yeah, that's what we're going to do so stay tuned let me get the camera set up and I shall be back all right guys, for this order, we will be using the Too Fresh Definesse Worm, which is a 6.25 inch finesse style worm. And I decided to go with the 0 .30 large black hex flake in the order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and load up with some Carolina pumpkin. And I'm not measuring this out. I pretty much know what I want. We've added our Carolina pumpkin. Gonna get that mixed in here. And then we're gonna add our night crawler to the mix. I want this to be pretty thick. So let's get this night crawler added. We really want to be able to see this, so we're gonna really load it up with it. Get it mixed up. Yeah. Really liking that. All right, the next thing we gotta do is add some, add some flake. And we're just gonna load this up. Give it about a teaspoon and a smidge and get this mixed in and see how we're looking. And pepper look all right see that very nice consistency of a black flake in there so I'm gonna get this heated back up again guys and I'll meet you out here once we get it set back up and get ready to shoot all right guys we have our plastic heated up now and we are about ready to shoot and for this job, I'm going to be, no doubt, using the six inch injector. I did add my sprue extender on 
so that we can make sure when our plastic is setting up it has enough extra plastic to suck in from and we're gonna start all right we're gonna hold a little pressure on it give it about 15 seconds to set up before we take the injector loose and we're still going to top off our sprue put our excess back in and take our extra plastic off while we're sitting up in here I just want to bring the cup a little bit closer so you guys can see what I was talking about with the purple violet brownish hue that is given off from the night crawler this is a very beautiful color in the water and it mimics a natural earthworm look and it's one of my favorite when I'm out all right guys we should be set up right now so I'm going to take the sprue extension off and then I'll go ahead and remove our screws so we can open our mold up and now uh, let me show you guys how these came out pretty pretty awesome just trying to see if I can show you that reflection there it is that should be good right there very beautiful looking bait here I like how the black flake stands out in it all right so we're gonna go ahead and put these on the tray and then I'm going to heat my cup of plastic back up and we're gonna shoot the second half of this first round so we have six in this and each one of the bags that I shoot have 12 bait in it so we have one more for the first bag so it's gonna be a while and we're not gonna go through the entire process just gonna get a couple of bags done and then wrap the video up ready for the second round so let's dive back in I'm going to make me a few of these just so I can use probably tomorrow or on Monday today is actually Saturday so either tomorrow or Monday I'll throw them in the refrigerator and usually after I'm finished with each one of my runs I'll basically just throw everything in the refrigerator and give it the opportunity to cool off overnight instead of doing the water bath which is a very good process to use this just does the same thing in a different way uh, it triggers the setting up and curing process of your plastic so whatever method you choose to use basically doing the same thing I've even thrown a couple of these in the freezer after I've shot it all right, so we're gonna let this set up a little bit and then I'll be back when we get ready to demold, guys. We should be about ready to demold this second batch of plastic. And I'm gonna go slowly just in case. All right, we're good to go. Loving the fact that we're not getting any flashing at all with this. You just have to be really mindful on your temperatures and try to stay within the 340, 350 range. If you get up into the higher range of temperatures, it definitely increases the chances of you getting flashing in your bait. So this is the first bag done and we're going to go ahead and continue so I'm going to run through a few of these guys and once I knock a couple of bags out, I'll be back to close the video off guys.
All right, guys. I have one complete tray done now, which is probably about four four packs, I think. And I'm going to do one more shoot, and then I have to wrap it up so I can go in the house and tend to my youngin. So going to bring you guys along on this last one. My mold is starting to get really hot, which is causing the setup time to become longer. And I don't want to sit here all evening. I'm actually working into the evening right now with this. Probably about almost eight o'clock uh, in the evening time. So have to get a little get the little one something to eat and get me something to eat and get him set up for the night so I can get in bed so this color is one that I really do like guys and on my site it's called earthworm gym so one of my pro staff members actually gave me the idea for the name came from a cartoon Called Earthworm Jim, and it was just a funny cartoon when I looked at it. I remembered it from back in the days, but I had forgotten about it. But when I saw it, the name was just really cool, so I went ahead and decided to name it Earthworm Jim. So, this is what we have left, and then we have this here for remelts. So We've worked from, we're right at almost uh, half a cup now we have left with the addition of the remelts. We're probably about a, a cup left, almost a cup left. So we've gone through about two and a half cups already on this project. So probably end up filling up about four trays, four to five trays. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do guys. So I'm going to let this sit up and once we demold this or get ready to demold this, I'll be back with you guys momentarily. Okay guys, one thing I did forget to mention was that being that I am doing finesse style baits, I did add softener to my mix and I did use the dead on softener. Uh, I just put in enough. I know it's about a half a teaspoon per cup so I put in about two teaspoons or probably a little bit less. This is a swim bait blend with softener added to it. All right, so let's go ahead and demold this last one. Just a little bit for you guys and you can see that we got another nice shoot out of those all right guys let me get these broken off and laid out on the tray and I will return as soon as I am done guys so here's what the final product looks like and hopefully you can see the highlight from the earthworm color and I'm very satisfied with how it came out guys so uh, I want to thank you all again for uh, tuning in to another episode of two fresh custom baits I hope that anybody who has never made this color before I hope that my tutorial helps you and probably trying it out for yourself and getting some okay results from it. I know that I wasn't uh, precise when it came to the amount of colorant that I added and it's just because this is an IET type of situation for me. I've done it a lot of times so I'm just really just adding what I would think but I would say if you were going to do this per one cup for your Carolina pumpkin, I would say uh, probably, if you're using the Lure Works, uh, I would probably say about 20 to 25 drops per cup. And for the earthworm, I think about 
10, 15 drops to make it the concentrate a lot stronger. So the sheen in it will definitely show up. And for your flakes, the 0.30 or the 0.35, I would say anywhere from about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of flake would be good. So guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Two Fresh Custom Bait Making. I hope that my teaching and uh, encourages some of you to go out and do the same thing. I'm hoping that by the comments that you drop below, letting me know how you feel about the uh, video, that I can learn something from you guys. Any suggestions that you would have as to something you could have done differently, or I could have done differently, or if I was not doing this for a custom customer, something that you think I could do differently to, to uh, in your opinion, spice this up a little bit, uh, shoot me a message and let me know down in the comments. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share my videos and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so you can see when I get around to doing some more cool stuff or check out some of my fishing videos as well, guys. Have a blessed weekend. Be safe. Make sure that you also take somebody out and take them fishing and create a too fresh moment because life is always too fresh to not go fishing. Have a good one, guys. Peace.